South Australia hosted not only one of its biggest race days on the Labor Day holiday, but also its premier yearling offering with the Adelaide Magic Millions yearling sale kicking off. Just short of 90 lots went through the ring on day one of the three day sale, which was conducted just a few hundred metres down the road from where the Adelaide Cup meeting was held earlier in the day. The star of the show on day one was the lone smart missile in the sale, a colt out of a half sister to Group 2 winner Thump, who was knocked down to Tony McAvoy for $220,000. Looked at all the smart missiles at all the sales this year and uh, I, I believe he's really going to make it as a stallion. He throws a tremendous type, good bodied horses and this fellow was no exception. Uh, I thought he was very athletic this one. Uh, I, I really, he, he wasn't as heavy as uh, a lot of the smart missiles I've seen but good walking horse, good style of a horse and um, um, had to fight a bit to get him but I was very pleased we got him. Tell us about the group that, that uh, are involved in the ownership of him. He hasn't got an owner. Uh, I've just bought him because I liked him. Uh, it's the only thing he lacks is a good owner. Uh, so if anyone's out there, uh, give me a call. But uh, I just I just wanted to train him, and um, uh, he'll, he'll find owners quite easily, I think. The smart missile colt was one of four youngsters who fetched at least a hundred thousand dollars. The others being a colt by Elmer Hur who went for a hundred and ten thousand, while a Schwarzier filly went for a hundred and five, as did a son of Artie Schiller and the well-related Heavenly Wonder. After a slow start, things picked up late in the sale, which left Magic Moon's managing director Vin Cox a happy man. It's been a very, very good start. Top price of 220000 for a smart missile colt. It's an outstanding result for South Australia. The, the, the breeders of the horse are Golden Farms, who are new investors in the business, a uh, Hong Kong based owner who bought um, the old Lindsay Park farm and now they're selling the top price horse in the Adelaide sale. So uh, for them it's a great result for their first yearling sale here in Adelaide. We've got an average of uh, uh, 36,000 which is which is very very good, uh, well up on last year. A clearance rate is sitting around 76% which is very satisfactory um, and yeah a, a turnover of well, two, two and a quarter million so we're very happy where we're sitting. Day two will be held on Tuesday and one of the highlight lots will be offered as the second lot of the day a cult by Magic Albert out of Jewel Vault, a half-sister to the dam of Jewel Group 1 derby winner Rebel Raider. An impressive cult by first season sire Master of Design, who was a half-brother to former talented sprinter Al Magico, will be offered later in the day. Betting will commence at 10am and as usual, you can follow all the action at magicmillions.com.au.